Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is some bad business gameplay as a companion piece to a Cold War beta video that I've just made. And I'm going to put these videos up together to give you a, a nice contrast between where AAA titles are and where indie, free-to-play, somewhat crazy Roblox first-person shooters are, which I never thought I'd ever say that sentence. I feel a little strange just uttering it. And the gameplay in the background is me playing King of the Hill on a map called Courtyard using the AK-47. And I'm playing Roblox. Just process that, right? So to give you some context here, ladies and gentlemen, I saw a streamer play a shooter a couple months back, and I thought it looked really weird, but the gunplay looked surprisingly good, and I looked into it, and it was this. And as soon as I found out that it was Roblox, I just thought, wow, that's that weird game that my niece plays. I, I can't play that, that sounds stupid, right? And then I did the Cold War beta, where I had some of the, the most miserable games of Call of Duty in the history of that franchise, and the only good thing about it was playing with my community. So I've been on the look for a first-person shooter for a while, because I'm really hungry to practice my aim. I want to practice shooting, it feels really nice when you get those cool flicks and when you feel one with the mouse. And there are a lot of ways to do this, but I've not found one that's that's really interested me in, in some time now. And then I started trying this game out. And this game is really unique in many ways, because it's free, it's a browser game, and you can play this on your phone, you can play this on a, on a tablet, I think you can play it on the console, and you can play it on PC. And we all play together. And what happens is, you get this wonderful mix of player bases where you have people who are really, really bottom of the level ability. Perhaps they're on a bad device or a bad PC, or perhaps they're really, really young and they don't know how to play and they're just jumping on and trying to have a good time. And then on the other side, you have people like me who are trying this game because shooters are in such a bad place and they're, they're trying to, to win, they're trying to, to kill everybody and they're doing their best to do that. And then you have the middle area of people just who like Roblox maybe who want to play this game and then you you play a couple matches and you think wow this is this is nuts I'm on 200 ping and my connection feels good I've got a really really good hit detection when I shoot at people even though the weapons are projectile and the weapons themselves feel really good and then you realize that the movement is really advanced the movement in this game is is a lot closer to something like Titanfall and Quake than it is to Call of Duty and I want to avoid the movement, personally, purely based off the fact that if I start doing stuff with the movement, I'm never going to shoot people, I'm just going to do all the crazy movement shit. And for me, I'm playing this to, to practice my aim for when Call of Duty comes out, and hopefully that will be a much easier game, because people move in this game, guys. Kids are running about, old people are running about, YouTubers are running about, everyone's running about, and the maps, as weak as some of them are in many ways, yet still playable, are really big, so it definitely forces a lot of movement. And I've never played a game that's this casual, yet this competitive, and this fun, all in the same breath. And you might be watching this and thinking, well Chris, these players don't look very good, how can you say this is competitive? And it's just because you're watching a gameplay where there's not that many competitive players in here, and my team is the good team, it seems like. But, because of the way the leveling works in this, that's spawn protection by the way, that's why he took so much damage. Because of how leveling works in bad business, getting guns is really slow and you can pay real money to buy Roblox currency and unlock the guns quicker, and the guns are better. The, the prestige weapons kill you quicker, they seem to have less recoil, they seem to just be very, very, very good. And there's a, a certain pay to win scheme that's going on here, thanks to the slow leveling. But all of the guns are, are decent and, and work. So even though the leveling is quite slow and I'm not unlocking anything all that new, because I'd love to, you know, use something really strong. This is the first gun you get and it's very good. But it's, there are one hit kill weapons in this and with the TTK being so long, it can kind of feel a, a little bullshit because you just instantly get murked by sniper rifles and bows and knives and all kinds of weird things and they just, they put you down and the grenade indicator in this game is not very good so you die to grenades all the time without even realising and then there's this weird quirk when you throw grenades, sometimes it just does it wrong, it throws it in a really weird way and you kill yourself with your own nades or you throw them in a stupid place. And even then, guys, with all these things that I've mentioned, this is the most fun first-person shooter I've played since Titanfall 2. And this reminds me of, of... It reminds me of Goldeneye. It reminds me of going to other people's houses and playing Goldeneye with strangers. And how 
people would just run around Goldeneye and have a stupid time, and you would play, and because all you did was play Goldeneye, you would destroy them. And it gives me those vibes. And do people camp? Yeah, they, they do. Do people cheat? They do. I've already run into a couple of hackers, I've run into some spin botters, and you might be wondering, Chris, why would they do that in a kid's game? You'd be surprised, dude. I've run into lobbies of people using the best gun in the game and using head glitching. They've got every camouflage and every ridiculous thing you can think of. I've pretty much run into all the shit you can run into at the moment. And even in light of that, it's still a really great time. And you know the thing I find funniest? This is one of the most difficult shooters I've ever played. Because the time to kill is quite high, the accuracy on project projectile guns means you have to lead your shots, the hitboxes are quite small considering the characters, and the mobility is so high that people can do crazy things to dodge. When you add all these things together, keeping on target in this game is way harder than Battlefield, it's way harder than Call of Duty, it's way harder than Titanfall in many ways. And I can't believe I'm saying this, because this is a fucking Roblox game that is free! And yet they're doing things that I personally think are more impressive than what COD has done in, in a long time. And I don't really know much about this game, I haven't put that much time into it, but what I do know is that it is, it's fun. And it's not fun because you're stomping on two year olds, even though you know you, you absolutely can't do that. It's fun because it, it harkens back to a time where games were just a lot simpler and a lot more basic and then nailing the fundamentals. And can you tell me the last time you played a game where it nailed the fundamentals? Because I can't remember. And I played some games today where I was getting spawn trapped and I was the only person shooting back and I was fighting against people out of bounds and fighting against people that were literally in the walls shooting me through the geometry. So there's some shit sides to this, this particularly free game. And even then, I, I am a Roblox convert, who would have known?